Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Elise. If you're not new here, hey family, how are you? Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, y'all. We are here with our first episode of our brand new Let's Play, Let's Play Becoming Mrs. Worthington. So the intro is going to, I'm going to try and keep it short. <laughs> But I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, because we have a lot to talk about, y'all. Okay, so, if you're new here, this is a spinoff from my original Let's Play called Brandon's Way. This is a legacy gameplay, you guys. We are finally making our way through the legacy. Braylon's finally engaged. Peep the rock on her finger. Okay, so this Let's Play is all about her and June and their family. So. We're just going to get into some introductions for, pe for people who have not seen Braylon's Way. I would suggest you go watch. A lot of drama, a lot of tea, a lot of backstory. But if you if not, I'm going to try and fill y'all in. Okay, so here is our beautiful, beautiful main sim, Braylon Whitman. She is currently like middle 20s right now. We have 45 days until she ages up to an adult. I might adjust that. We still got to figure that out, y'all. This is my first time playing with aging some things have to be addressed she is messy she is creative she is a baddie she's ambitious and she's a libra and she's also in her second trimester about to be in her third which is nuts wasn't ready wasn't prepared she's currently a fashion designer for the deluxe for the for the lux legacy agency and you guys finally the fashion designer mod has been updated it is now an active career so in today's episode we will be going to work with Braylon so I put her in this career instead of the other fashion designer career and she's currently a junior stylist which is like a level two promotion and yeah we have a lot to do y'all have a lot to do and before we move on I just want to touch on the intro and you guys rip Kinsey for real if you guys are new here, Kenzie was one of her best friends when she was a semi Shuno. Kenzie was one of the first people that like she really connected with outside of her best friend Penny. And Kenzie actually passed away at her dinner where she announced her engagement and pregnancy pregnancy to June. So really, really sad, y'all. Braylon, she's just my girl. Like she is my girl. She's my girl. She's my girl. Okay, this is June Worthington. This is Braylon's fiance. And I mean, look at him. <laughs> he's so cute. Okay, June is a little bit older than Braylon. He's aging up in 31 days to an adult. So, you know, he's a little bit older. He's mysterious. He's a scorned. He's a Capricorn. And he is loyal. They both prefer exclusive romantic relationships. He's very happy to be having a baby with her. And just a little backstory. Her and June, it was a rough ride, okay? She, they were in the love triangle. And we'll get more into that later. But, yeah. June is currently a brand identity developer. And he, you know, he's making good money. 160 to an hour. I do have a mod in my game that um increases some of the earnings for some of the careers. And yeah, but it's June. He's just chilling, living his life. Everyone meet Zarya Durham. Okay, this is Braylon's daughter, but this is not June's daughter. Okay, she has a different last name. Her dad is Ezra. You guys might meet him this episode. I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> But yeah, Zarya, she is a toddler, and she will be aging up into a kid, y'all. A kid. We're going to have a kid in seven days. I'm so sad. But she is inquisitive. That is the main trait that I gave her. And she has the aggressive quirk, the haze bedtime quirk, and the love water loves water quirk. 
So, yeah, that's my girl. She is very, very smart. She has maxed out all her skills thanks to preschool. And actually, let me have her get up and go to the bathroom because she needs to pee. And last but not least, we can't forget Ellie. This is our baby girl. Yo, I got her from Pug Owned on the gallery. And Ellie's been through a lot. You know, she's been through everything with Braylon. Braylon done live with so many people. Please just go back, check it out, watch it. She, Ellie's run away. She's came back. But, like, Ellie's here. We love Ellie, okay? And we're going to pay more attention to Ellie, even with the new baby on the way. But now, let's get into a house tour. Okay, you guys, so this is their home. I did get it off the gallery, and I'm just going to be quite honest with y'all. When I be looking for stuff on the gallery that is not CC, I do a horrible job of figuring out who made it. Okay, I looked up Modern Sequoia Home because we are living in San Sequoia. Look at how beautiful. We're right over here by the deck. Oh, my God, y'all. San Sequoia is so pretty. And we did do a poll on the channel, and this is what everybody kind of picked. So we do live in San Sequoia. Um, just want to know if y'all want one of y'all Sims to be in this let's play, put that, put them on the gallery with the hashtag the Worthingtons. I'm gonna put that down below because I would love to have some guys, some of you guys as townies in San Sequoia walking around, lollygagging, having a good old time. Okay, I'll put all the information down below. But let's get into the house. I did kind of edit it a little bit, like the colors of it, the stone. But for the most part, this is on the gallery. Ignore this because we will be having a housewarming slash gender reveal in today's episode. So ignore that. Okay, so when you come up to the front door, you are met with our welcome mat that says, hey there. And then take care on your way out. Nothing's really on this side. We do have a nice little car. We have... um some toys for ellie and then we just have like a little seat right here just nothing major you know and this is both of their first home they both are from sam i know they both are used to living in the city so this is new for them okay so when you walk in the first thing you see are the stairs and then you see i'm gonna just show y'all this little bathroom if you know me you know i hate bathrooms so it's just a bathroom literally but we're gonna go to the left first to the left is the living room and get into it, okay? June is very dark. He's very moody. And Braylon is very colorful, eccentric, spunky. So I try my best to make it look like Braylon decorated the whole house, but continuously thought, thought, ugh, continuously thought about June. So that is what we have here, okay? We have their living room is so... I'm obsessed. I love this house. And then we have um we got a little bookshelf. We have a picture of them on the night that he proposed. I am just on the floor in love. And then we have a little space over here for the kids. So this is Zarya's stuff. And then we don't know what we're having. So I wanted to leave it open. And I wanted to decorate the house for baby number two after we had the gender reveal. So that is why that is set up like that. So this is the living room. And then right across from the living room is like a little seating area. Nothing major. I just, y'all, the house really screams Braylon and I love it. Pause. Let me put the lights on. Okay, yeah. So this is the seating area. Absolutely love it. Um, I will try to answer any questions about where I got CC from. This book is by Meek Games. That is all I know at the moment. <laughs> and then over here... We have like a little, you know, just a little place to put stuff. And look at this mirror. It's so cute. It just screamed Braylon, okay? And she's referencing my Shuno with her little bag. Because, you know, so my Shuno is New York, period. And then this is a little doggy bed for Ellie. Okay, moving into the kitchen, y'all. I love the kitchen. So, first things first, we have a little dining area. And I wanted to go for the... Hold on, let me show y'all. I wanted to go for like the bench look i just thought it was really cute really modern and then we have this amazing bar that is from baby gal one two three almost all of the decor on the bar is from her collection her martini collection i think it's called and then right here we have the kitchen and i want it to feel very homey okay once again this is her first actual home not being in the city and just for reference normally san sequoia is nowhere near san michelino like absolutely nowhere near but for the sake of the let's play and wanting to keep her relationships from back home, it is going to be close. It is not going to be. Usually since Sequoia is on the West Coast, okay? And semi-shadows on the East Coast. But we're going to act like it's on the on the East Coast. 
for this time being. Ignore the bridge, okay? But yeah, this is the kitchen. Just a couple small details, you know. We're going to be in our cooking era, mother of two. Okay, we have our little uh mini pantry. Because this house is not that big. So a little mini pantry. You know, we're still going to have our parties with the little crown royal. Yes, love, love, love. I'm not going to show the backyard just yet because it is slightly decorated for the gender reveal okay now we're gonna go up the stairs okay so once you come up the stairs it's not much to it yet i have to find something to do with this wall i'm thinking like family photos um we don't have any yet and we need some before baby girl ages up to a kid like a sap i'll do that don't worry um but this door straight away this is gonna be maybe number two's room so we're gonna leave that alone it's empty because i don't know what we're having and then let's do Zarya's room first. Okay, so this is Zarya's room right here. And when you walk in, she has like her little, you know, castle fort. So cute with the pillows. And I didn't do a lot because once again, she's aging up very soon. And I didn't want to put all my effort and hard work into this room. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Okay, but she does have like, 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 like a little fairy tale themed room. Very, very cute. Okay. We haven't quite figured out her personality, which I hope to do, which I hope to do very soon. But yeah, her room is nothing special. We have a little makeup set that June got her. And, you know, yeah, but they do have a joint bathroom, a Jack and Jill bathroom for her and her sibling. We're hoping it's a boy, so I'm just going to say her and her little brother. Okay. I actually don't know what they're having. I didn't even check. I didn't even cheat and look. But yeah, this is her bathroom, little kid's bathroom. Nothing special, nothing to see, okay? Okay, and the final bedroom upstairs is Braylon and June's room. So this is their room. Once again, wanted to keep it very much a mixture of the two of them. But Braylon obviously decorated. So this is what we have. We have their bed. We have some paintings. And she's a fashion designer, so we're going to always have some clothes somewhere on the rack. And then obviously this is her little corner, and we have a picture of her and her bestie, Kenzie. I will be putting more pictures up, but this is what I have for now. We have their TV, their dresser, some, you know, cologne, perfume. And if you know me, the Vaseline will be on deck everywhere I go. We all need Vaseline. Then we have a mirror, and then in here is their, is their uh, bathroom. The bathroom is really cute. So this is their bathroom. Nothing major. Just a cute little bathroom. Nice little view of this, you know, of their little neighborhood. <laughs> I love it. And there's one more room I have to show y'all. I know y'all are probably wondering, like, where is Braylon's office? Like, her video station? Because Braylon also records YouTube videos um, to kind of, like, get her name out there in the fashion world. And this is the garage. So we have our laundry and then we have a doggy wash for Ellie. And then, you know, some storage. But June, when he got the house, he made her an office. Because it is small. He made her an office in the garage. Let me check out. Oh, my God. Look. It's so, it's so tiny. But it's so cute. So, we have here her desk. And y'all already know she got her little fashion sketches on there. Those are by Coco Games. And I think this is also by Coco Games, the, the uh, poster. And, yeah, we have the Elgato Stream Deck or Steam Deck. I don't know what it's called. On the thing so she can record videos at this computer. That is by Ravishine. And then, obviously, we have a mannequin. It's not functional. I have to get her a functional one. And then this picture is by Co is by Zarela. Not Coco Games. Zarela. And we have some packages, you know, because eventually she's going to be shipping out her own designs. And I just thought this was so freaking cute. And we got some pictures of her and her friends. Another one of her and Kenzie. And then we have Penny, Ashley, and Kaylee also. And y'all are going to meet them very, very soon. So I hope I didn't miss nothing in the intro. But in today's episode, we are going to be going to work with Braylon. And then we're going to be having dinner with one of her friends. And then at the end of this episode, we will be having her gender reveal slash housewarming party. But it's currently s freaking six o'clock in the morning on Saturday <laughs> and they're eating cake. And I, I have to be okay with that. Oh, not a neighborhood broad day. Baby Zarya is going to the bathroom. Y'all, she is fully potty trained. She's kind of efficient, like self, self-sufficient for real, for real. But yeah, Braylon and June have work. So that's why the gender reveal is not going to happen until tomorrow. Braylon is sad. Why is she sad? Oh, she's having a mood swing. 
Y'all, I think she's gonna enter her third trimester, like, in a couple minutes. As always, I'm gonna try and not do too much with the, um, with the, uh, cheating, but I can't help it. <sighs> Y'all, they, they can't go to their own bathroom, and it's really frustrating. I don't know if it's the door or what, but they have a hard time getting in here. And I just, I don't have the time, Okay. Why you there? You might as well clean this up, girl. You might as well take care of that. Let's see. Zarya hungry? Zarya is hungry. Let me see. What is he doing? No. Come feed Zarya. Oh, wrong way. Y'all, I'm still getting used to the house. I'm still getting used to the house. Give food to Zarya. Let's give her for breakfast this multi-cereal. Go get the baby. Thank you. Y'all, June be growing facial hair. I'm going to insert a picture. And I'm debating on if I want to give him a little a little facial hair. Maybe when he ages up. I don't know. Okay. He's just heating up her food. Also, I did forget to mention they are celebrities. But, but, y'all, I, <clears throat> I really don't think they care that much. Like, Braylon has completely lost her lost her one little star in june he was at three levels now he's down to two but june really doesn't care <clears throat> braylon may have to get her fame back up for her career but june he could care less okay let's see look at her belly bumping what do y'all think she's having everybody's been saying boy uh, i don't know she's cute though she's cute though Work starts in an hour. Okay, let's see. She's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Let me have her go get dressed. It don't really matter, though. What's she about to go do? Oh, say hi to her baby. Okay. Oh, not him sad about his star. Also, I play with the walls up. So, just so y'all know. Girl, get out that toilet. Get out that toilet. Don't make me mad. She come and get her food. <laughs> okay. And she's really good with she's really good with her um with her soon to be stepdad. Like she likes him. She gets along with June. They cool. This food is by Somi and Sarinka. Eat your food right now. Ah, Zig. Okay. And then we're just going to have Braylon come give him a kiss before she has to go to work, honey. Not elope. We have wedding stuff to plan. Don't piss me off, okay? They better not start nothing. Let's do an intense kiss. Gimbala. Oh. <gasps> She's going to go cry upstairs. Baby, it's not that serious. It's just a baby in your belly. Y'all, they have finally um kind of like got through the mourning process of not this dirt. The mourning process of Kinsey, so they are finally starting to do a little bit better. Balafon Frida, Moochie Peachy. Cute. Can he kick pick this up? Go back in. <laughs> but I will see you guys at Braylon's yes, new job. Yes, oh. All right, y'all. So we are now in Windenburg at her job. Because, you know, Winden Windenburg is a part of this world, y'all. Windenburg, Sam, I should know. And I guess Sam Sequoia. I don't know. <laughs> but we are now in Windenburg. And look at her work fit. Like, get into it. Get into it. Uh, I love her. She's so cute. She's so cute. Um, I will be doing some introductions for her, um, you know, co-workers, but first let's get into the build. Okay, guys, so this is the fashion school by Raya28. I will be linking this down below. Also, I'll be linking the fashion designer mod down below as well by Danity Simmer. And you guys, this build was perfect, was made for, it wasn't made for this, uh, career, but it was made for this career. Okay, so when you walk walk in the doors, you're, you're met with, like, the little entryway and, you know, like, a little seat and thing. So, the way that this career is working so so far that I have seen, clients come to this office to get help with their fashion. 
So not only are we creating designs, we're also like saving people's lives while outfit at a time. Okay. This is the little cafe where they have their lunch and they eat. I do have to get her a lunchbox because we just can't be eating this all the time. I didn't start packing her a little lunch, but you know, we have the barista right there. And then look at the, look at the lot. The lot is so cute. Okay. I'm so sorry. Then we have, you know, take some pictures in here, some photo shoots. Braylon will be doing more photo shoots this season. And we have these mannequins. She does need to come and style these. That's one of her jobs as a new employee. We have like, you know, like like set because they have fashion shows. So this is like backstage of like where the fashion shows will be held. You could do some appearance styling, some makeovers, which is part of the cover as well. And then over here, y'all, is the runway. Get into it. Fashion shows. What? Yeah. If y'all want me, if y'all, if y'all want any Sims to be a part of this, let's play, please. Hashtag the Worthingtons. I will find y'all. Don't worry. Don't worry. Ugh, I can't wait for a fashion show this season. I'm nervous about it, but I can't wait for it. I'm gonna get out of tab mode soon. Then we also have like her little boss's office. This is the boss's room, and this is cute or whatever. Nothing major. And then upstairs, I'm kind of trying to go fast so we can get to some more gameplay. Upstairs, let me see. This is where like all okay, they are mesh together this is where everybody does their work okay look into it i love this a lot it was just perfect i didn't have to do anything to it it just fit automatically and then you see over here we have like um just a seating area somewhere for them to chill maybe grab a book eat also you know it's an office it's a nice little office i don't know what this room was supposed to be um because it came blank i probably don't have the cc more than likely and then over here, I think this is an office. Oh, no, another photo shoot area. Very, very cute. And then we have another desk, like another office. So hopefully this will be her office if we really get into it. And then there's a conference room. So love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I'm going to introduce y'all to some of her coworkers, and then we'll do some gameplay. Okay, you guys, this is Miss Mary Thompson. This is the receptionist here at the Lux Legacy Agency. And she's cute. You know, she's a she's an old lady. I don't think she has any teeth. Um, yeah. But she's cute. She doesn't really say much. She's just, you know, working to just get her a little extra money in her pocket. It's outside of her social security and she's a nice little lovely old lady okay here we have braylon's boss and she is gorgeous y'all i literally just gave the makeover to the sims that spawned because with this career you get a boss a secretary an intern and a pr manager i believe that always come to work with you so yeah because i have other sims who have this career and they didn't show up but yeah this is cassandra leblanc and she's a baby okay get into it Unfortunately, though, her and Braylon did not hit it off. Okay, so we will try and work on their relationship because they did not hit it off. Right here, he's kind of cute. Let me stop. We have we have a home man. Um, this is Alex Bennett and this is Katie Harlington. Alex is the intern here at the agency, and Katie is the PR manager. We actually have not met Katie yet, but we have met Alex, and they hit it off pretty well. They're pretty cool. He do have a crush on Braylon because duh, who don't? You know what I'm saying? But, yes, let's just get right into the day. Uh, okay, so for today, so far, we have to research patterns, create lookbooks, and draw sketches. I'm going to have her be respectful and come say hi to her boss. Also, if their outfits change, just, I don't know why. These are their work outfits, but they keep changing their outfits. And I couldn't tell you why. So, let's just, you know, say good morning. Can I say good morning? Yeah. Let's just say good morning to our boss. Get out that rain. Also, there will be like a bunch of clients just kind of spawning onto the lot for us to like work with. And yeah. Okay. That was cute. Very fashionista. He Sophie. Okay, I don't know who this is. I'm not going to lie to y'all. She wasn't here yesterday. <laughs> this is another intern. So, by next episode, she'll look better. Because, who are, ma'am, who are you? You wasn't here yesterday. We got two interns. 
We'll fix her. We'll fix her. She's a little edgy. She's a little edgy. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> That's enough. Also, she's flirty from earlier. We're going to check that out so she'll make no dumb decisions. Dibs. Okay. Then let's just go upstairs and sit where everybody else is sitting and work with them. I'm going to have her come meet Katie. She's never met Katie before. Friendly introduction. And then we're just going to, you know, kind of flow from there. Okay. Oh, she coming down? Okay. But yeah, let me show you what her and her boss's first impressions were. So the first impression that Braylon had about her boss was that she was unreliable, which I think is kind of messed up. And Cassandra said that she was pretentious. But I think that's because, you know, we've been doing fashion for a while. Uh -huh. So we might come across like we know what we're doing. But we do. We know what we're doing. So it is what it is. I think Katie's coming down. There she go. Katie's cute too. I like Katie. This samba, huh? Men do. Okay. Oh, not a crush, baby, please. Man. I think her, I think it's because of our uh, traits. And, you know, I just, whatever. Strong minded and interesting. Okay. That's good. Luna Bissella. Oh, Larkin. <laughs> okay. The day has just started. Let's see. Is there any special communications with the PR manager? This mod really comes with a lot, y'all. It has everything. All we can think about is our wedding. Let's see. Okay, nothing major. Nothing major. So we're going to go upstairs now. We're going to... Well, actually, you know what we should do first? Let's create a lookbook because we need to do four for the workday. I'm not, I'm not going to do four. I'm going to do like two and then we're gonna cheat it Okay, so we did just go change their outfits. And uh, here's the thing about Braylon. Her fashion sense is very different. Okay? Like, she's into different stuff. So, I'm going to change. I'm going to change this one. Because we did, too. I'm going to have her go change this outfit. But this is very cute. Like, she's always trying to be edgy. Trying something new. And I love that about her. Let's also do a custom pose for this one. Period. Oh my god, we're in our third trimester now. Stand up. Girl. Let me see. <gasps> Braylon. Now look at your belt. Oh, she needs to eat. Get up, girl. She be just yapping all day at work. Get up. Get up and do this work, honey. <gasps> look at her. Y'all, hold on. Look at her belly. Oh, I guess she can't get to it. Whatever. But it looks cute. They look cute. They look bombdiggity.com. But we're going to just act like she did all four. Okay. Now it says order fabrics and research patterns. So I'm going to have her go upstairs and do that. She needs to go into the workspace. And y'all, we got to get Miss Sophie a makeover, honey. She looks a mess. I'll do that next episode. Or next time we come to work, she'll look better. But you go under career. You have a new little menu. And I'm going to have her order some fabrics. And I'm going to also have her research some patterns. If y'all know, y'all know. It's been a long time coming for us to actually go to work with Raylan. <laughs> I've been just having my girl just do whatever, it, whatever until this mod came out. We've been waiting on this. We're not going to really talk to that intern until she looked better. Is that rude? I mean, I just, girl, earmuffs. Fire. Oh, wait. Also, y'all, Braylon does have high blood pressure. I forgot. Mm. So, let's take our high blood pressure medication. Oh. I forgot. Let's check her buffs, okay? 
So she is happy from saying good morning. Good morning to myself and whoever I said good morning to. What should I do today? She is relieved from her blood pressure medication. She is like some nearby. I think that's from uh, Katie and Alex. Nicely decorated. She got some money from her YouTube videos. $1,200. We got to do that. Y'all, it's a lot going on. And it's just all about when's the baby coming? Okay. Um, death denial. She does not like death, which is why Kinsey hit her so hard. Horoscope pound. And she has a mood swing. Okay. Joan's going to go to work soon, too. And a zook. E. Sure. Okay. Blue. Nah. Uh huh. Consult clients about style. Yo, I tried to do this the other day and it just was not showing up. Okay, so once she's done, we're gonna do a friendly introduction to one of the clients and kind of just see what's going on. It says floral patterns are characterized by designs inspired by various flowers and foliage. This information could include different types of floral motifs such as roses, daisies, or tropical balloons. Okay, so florals. Very, very cute. I don't know what that's about. Spama. Hopefully, it shows up where I can talk to the client. Paula Chaba. Ah. Oh, want a fez, licka, oh, buster bood. Dobao. Okay, so she's just talking to him. No, he need help. He need help. Sula. He don't like us. Do you think I can... We're going to share some ideas with him about, like, what we think he would look good in. Oh, there we go. Consult about fashion. Period. It came up. It came up. Maybe we have to get to a certain level with that in order for that to come up. Okay. Let's see. Okay. It says, I'm not sure which colors suit me best. Can you assist me with finding the right color palette for my skin tone and preference? Absolutely. Absolutely. Literally, absolutely. Announce engagement. Girl, there are other things to life. Okay, now we got the fashion designer. <gasps> no. Okay, well, we're going to style him. Period. We're going to style him. He going to be a baddie. Maybe go be. Y'all, get into it. Maybe maybe we don't actually like style style. Oh. We're picking out his colors. Okay. Yep. Okay, so we are in cast. <laughs> we are in cast, so I'm about to do him up real good, and I see y'all in the seconds. Call us Ayala because we is out here fixing lives. What? Okay, let me have... Can he, like, come over here? Where we at? Girl, come back over here. You did a good job. Yeah, I want to show him a little bit more. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I did not fix his teeth. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to fix his teeth, but he looks so much... If he closes his mouth, he looks so much better. And also, we are not a dentist's office. But he wants to know what his color was, and I said blue, babes. Okay, now we can't do too much, you know. We can't do too much with these people because, you know, I'd be here all day in cast with them. But he look good. Let's see, let's see. Oh, we sad, girl. Get over it. She having a mood swing. She gonna have to get over it, honey. Did I, did I pass it? So how do we finish? There we go. It's right here. Oh, okay. I think we're done. 
so we could stop styling. Maybe then he won't show up no more. Friendly. Okay. Huh. What you think? Okay. Look at us. We did so good. Okay. So she is a little, you know, to feel her needs. We have her go to the bathroom. And then I'm going to have her come get some food. Okay, we're just ordering our food now. Y'all, there's so many clients here. It's actually ridiculous. Those are good. Ma'am, stop with the cake. Y'all, we just have so much cake from, like, our child's birthday. But, yeah. We're going to do some more work. This won't be our only client for today, though. Maybe in the future we'll do, like, a day dedicated to just, um, clothes. Please. Maybe we'll do, like, a day dedicated just to her doing all fashion stuff. But this was very good. Okay. Let's have her come upstairs. Do more pattern research. And then I'm also going to have her, um, get off the computer. You have your own, you know what, let's go into our office, because what, oh my god, everybody's in all these computers. Okay, hers is available. Y'all, she's so sad, I hate that for her. <laughs> oh wait, no, stop, it's okay. Maybe she's just getting scared about, like, the baby coming. Okay, loyal customer. Braylon feels great knowing that they have such a loyal customer. Feels great knowing there's someone that they can count on. Aw. Love that. Okay, also to update the Lux Legacy social media. Y'all, there's a lot of stuff to do with this mod, and I absolutely adore it. We're going to do that twice. Maybe that's how she'll get her fame up a little bit, too. Okay, animal prints are now in. Okay, girl. Huh. Bob is calling. Um, I have some tickets to the San Marcino Fashion Show. Wanna come? I would love to come, but not right now. We're actually at work huh. setting up for another fashion show. So call the warehouse. Dang. So much to do. Let me see. Not quit job. Call the warehouse. Oh, okay. On the phone. I'm like, what? What? My girl is finally a designer. Like, I just love this for her. This is the life. Look at the business girl. Axawa. Skiba Glosh. Yeah, but we're going to finish out today's work day and then I'll see you guys back at home. All right, y'all, we're back home, and Miss Thang's belly is bumping, uh, bumping. Okay, so let's see. Where's Zarya? So it's Saturday, so she's just been kind of in her jammies all day, so I guess. We're actually about to just play with her a little bit, and then we're going to actually start cooking dinner because we're going to have Cameron over with Tyler. Y'all, this is how we're going to play it. Tyler is now her goddaughter, okay? And... With Kenzie being gone, we're going to be seeing a lot of Cameron and a lot of Tyler throughout the rest of this Let's Play. Even, I mean, all her friends have kids. Not all of them, but quite a few have kids. Oh. But we're really going to be seeing Tyler the most because she's our god baby wow. and she doesn't have a mommy. Oh. And that's really important to me. So, yes. And then we're going to vacuum. Girl, put the cake down. Where the cake at? Where the cake at? I'm not doing this no more. Take, uh-huh. The trash. Okay. Alright, so. Let's see what homegirl. She's hungry too. Let's go cut the cartoons on for baby girl. And then we're going to cook dinner. Okay, so Braylon's about to make some oxtail with some rice and peas. And some plantains. Because that's just what she's been craving. The casual chic outfit you put together are perfect i finally feel like i have a cohesive style that looks effortlessly cool you're such a great eye for fashion oh don't be texting oh. me when i'm not at work but thank you Gibbs. 
Period. Ah, school. Huh. Y'all, this is such a nice life for her. She's engaged. Her man bought her house. Speaking of money, let me go ahead and fix this because they don't have this much money. Not after buying this house. I'm going to set it to like 15000 Okay. And we're going to have to get more nom, into nom. like their money and not just act like ah, they have infinite money. I got to do better with that. <laughs> but they're going to get there. They're going to get there. <laughs> but after the house, they definitely are a little bit, you know, ah, not that well off. Jump ja. uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, Joe has unlocked the close-knit lifestyle, which makes a lot of sense. He don't have a lot of friends. He's not the kind of person. <laughs> Let's check on Zarya. Girl, out the toilet. Uh-huh. I don't, know, I don't know if that's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Okay. June's gonna get home and dinner gonna be ready. Period. You know, we really should order it out because we're pregnant. But it's okay. What's the quality? Excellent. Berlin, don't eat yet. Wait. So she's just calling the camera like, hey, I made dinner. Y'all should pull up. Axawa. Skiba Glosh. Is June home from work? June is home from work. Damn, he made a thousand dollars. Period. Maybe they are well off. Maybe they are rich. Let me not. Let me not do y'all. Okay. Where's baby? I'm gonna have him come give her a hug. I really want to build the relationship. So we're gonna do affection, snuggle, and then I'm gonna have him put Zarya here. Okay, so Cam and Tyler are here. He's just knocking on, ring on the doorbell, and then I'm gonna have him pick up Tyler. And just kind of bring her inside. Oh, we don't have anything for her, but we're just gonna kind of bring her inside. She can kind of like chill here. I'm gonna have him put Tyler right here. And then we'll just kind of have good old family time. Look at everybody. They should have got my baby Zarya dressed. I'm not going to say nothing about that. But it's okay. Who's calling you? Bessie. Hang up. Okay. Katrina's calling. We don't want that job. Y'all, the job offers are getting out of hand at this point. Okay. Flirty. From feeling close to someone nearby. Girl, are you making the cake? Braylon. Braylon. Braylon said, I'm fucking starving. <laughs> Braylon said, I am starving. Is Tyler okay? Oh, she's just chilling. So cute. After we eat, we'll play with her for a little bit. Where are my manners? Let me do some introductions. Okay, you guys, this is Cameron Hall. And I'll be forgetting, I'll be forgetting that, you know, everybody's not from Braylon's way. This is Cameron Hall. This is one of one of uh Braylon's friends. So there is a friend group that she was kind of like brought into when she first got into Semi Show. No, it consists of her, Penny Pizzazz, her ex-boyfriend Ezra, Kenzie, R.I.P. to my girl, and her boyfriend Cameron. Also, Penny Pizzazz's ex-boyfriend. Nigel as well. But yeah, this is Cameron. He works at a popular restaurant in San Mishuno. A popular sushi restaurant that I can't think of the name of right now. And, you know, now he is a single father. And, you know, we're just kind of going with the flow with him. Him and um him and June are kind of cool. Like, they, they just kind of really fully met. People were kind of iffy about June because they are really her ex-boyfriend's friend. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. But, yeah. We're just going to small talk with him. Um, Okay, discuss food flavors. Why not? But, yeah. And then let me introduce you to their baby. And then this is baby Tyler. She's so cute. She looks like her dad, honestly. She's really so cute. Look at her. Oh, no. She's crying. Wait, let me see. I love looking at you. So cute. Y'all, they are so in love. <laughs> so, yeah, they're eating, just chilling. 
Largo twig. Ah, Poganamo. Dopfi Topa Kalarga. I know that's right. Farbu Web for Rhoda. Child, they are sleepy. So bad. Okay, so they're done. I'm about to have her come take her out. We're gonna let her out. Y'all, we just so walk around I'm pregnant, not knowing when the baby's coming. Propani Veruda. Oh, Boogie Lagon. Babadeso, Yanabi. Okay. And then I'm gonna have her also. Let's see. Let's have her pet the dog. He is. He is. She is eating though. So don't do too much. And then I'm gonna have her come over here. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, she's sleepy. Let's give her a nap like this. Oh, Zarya and um Ellie are friends now. Aww. Ellie must have not really cared for her that much. So yeah, they're just chopping it up. They're just chatting. I love this. Is she singing? Are you singing? Why are you singing? They got a sentiment. Hold on. They got the, I really value the time we spent together. I think it's made us closer than ever. Oh, this is just what he needs. Oh, my God. God. I am just so happy. And then she's being her godmom, period. Jimmy Neutron's on in the background. So, just kind of ignore that. Josh, she's going to that toilet. You know what? She is sleeping. Let me have um June put her down for bed. Let's just clean her up really quick. And then let's put her to bed. I wish there was a mod, a mod that could make her the god mom, but we just know this that she's the god mom. Get out the toilet. Y'all, I really miss playing with um Braylon. And now we have a whole little family. So it's our first, like, wholesome family gameplay on the channel. I mean, we had the single mom let's play, but wasn't nothing really wholesome about that. And I'm going to try and keep this as wholesome as I can. We'll see. You got to clean that up, but I'm going to just let you just rock for now. He like, girl, get out that toilet. Maybe she could be on the swim team when she gets older. Okay, she's all clean. And yeah. Okay, yeah, but this was good. Little family, little dinner. And now we're about to just, you know, have them go to sleep. And then I'll see y'all tomorrow. And it'll be time for the housewarming. All right, y'all. So it's the next morning. It's 8.15 in the morning. And June is taking Ellie for a walk. Braylon is cleaning up and baby Zarya is still asleep. Oh, okay. She just changed her clothes. That's fine with me, honey. You are thumping out that dress. Y'all, she just be sad. She finna get some food. Some food from yesterday. And then we're gonna have the party at like 12. So we're gonna have her eat and then I'm oh. gonna have her... Oh, Yatabu. I mean, I guess finish this damn cake. empty that oven when she's done and then we're gonna have a little get together i'm excited her friends have not been over here yet y'all get to meet all their friends i'm very excited oh bella wants a baby girl try for that baby yeah try for that baby okay you deserve it oh she's hungry too Okay, uh, too much. Just, you know, I don't really do the, the family stuff. Let's eat these. And then we're going to have her ask for food from Braylon. Yeah. She's on his walk. A good day in the city, in the neighborhood. Oh, look, it's a neighbor. Let me see. Y'all, we are going to meet some neighbors later on, but I made her on YouTube. So, if y'all want her, she is available for download on my Patreon. We'll meet her later. 
I have plans for her. Vincent said, hey, I heard you became friends with Daria. She's pretty cool. Vincent is one of his friends, y'all. So that was nice. But obviously. Okay. Let's give food to Zarya. Let's give her a little yogurt for the morning. Y'all, ask for We don't have time for that, June. No. We're not doing it. No mind's charity. June's trying to get busy. June, we don't have time for that. Oh. Ellie, yes. Yes, Ellie. What would you like? I feel like she's probably tired now. Will you ask for this walk? Let's unleash Ellie. Okay, I am going to have him just come give her a good morning smooch. Okay, we don't have time for all that SEX stuff. The party finna happen. Let's see. Let's give a squeeze. Sue, Sue. Olive bar, no koi. Fruit, Zumba. Aww. <laughs> ah, so hey. cute. Bravo. I love them. Okay, June, go get dressed. He already took a shower. Let's just say he already took a shower. But let's get dressed for the day. Actually, it don't matter because he don't change so anyway. Kiss her hands. <gasps> Wait, I missed it. Okay, okay, girl. We got to cook. Oh, y'all, I'm tripping. He's going to be on the grill. Let's just have her make, let's have her make a cake or some cupcakes or something. And he about to be on the grill. Okay, let's do cupcakes. Um, Cupcakes for today. And let's do, these are actually all ugly. Let's do these little heart cupcakes. I don't know. Y'all, they just in love. He gonna get on the grill at like 11.30. I forgot all about that. Ignore that. Umura. Not them flirty, honey. We got stuff to do. <laughs> we have stuff to do. Mm-hmm. Look at him. At least stop it. Oh my gosh, she got pee. Okay, I'm gonna cheat her so that she don't pee on herself. And I'm also gonna cheat her energy. Because I know she's pregnant, but we have stuff to do. I'm gonna keep saying that. We have stuff to do today. Y'all, I missed Braylon. It's only been like three weeks, but I really missed her. And this is so nice and new for her. Okay, I'm excited for the gender reveal, y'all. I can't contain my excitement. Okay, he chilling. He might as well play the game until, you know, until the time finishes. Let's just have him chill. She upstairs playing to her, uh, thing. I had to make it a little smaller, which is why it looks like that. But she's having a good old time. I'm about to have him get on his grill. It's 1140. Let's see what he can make. Period. Let's do, let me see, barbecue chicken, barbecue ribs and baked beans. Let's do, actually, no, let's do whatever this is, yakitori. You know, bringing his culture to the people. Okay, y'all, I will see y'all when the party starts. Okay, so gender reveal has started, and I invited quite a few people. Y'all, look at Braylon. She looks so gorgeous. Y'all, this dress is by Kiko Vanity. It's brand new, baby, brand new. Hot off the press. Got it just for this. And they obviously want a girl. Oh, I'm sorry. Where are my manners? Let me show y'all the backyard. Okay, so we did something very cute, very short, very sweet, simple, because this is my thought process. Their friend just died. <laughs> Quite frank. And it's been like a month, maybe since Kenzie's passed and also I kind of just feel like they just moved into this house they don't have the money to like go all out but they wanted to still do something and so we just have like a cute little setup a few gifts it's a gender reveal I decided that since she just has Zarya 
that they won't be doing too much of like a baby shower. So this is like their gender reveal slash baby shower. But there's not a bunch of gifts because everybody's going through a tough time right now. And, you know, June was like, we can get our own gifts. Like, you know, we just want them to be here and just enjoy the moment with us. So that's what we're going to do. Also, because this is a legacy, I'm going to be having a bunch of birthdays and stuff. Okay. So, you know, certain events are going to be bigger than others. And then we have this cute little thing for the gender reveal. We're going to do a balloon pop. And then, you know, like a little welcome in entry. But yeah, this is the backyard. Nothing special. I'm probably going to add more stuff to it after the reveal. Like a little table here and stuff like that. Yeah. Don't we love that for them? Also, they got this grass growing, baby. So hopefully people start coming in. Okay, people are already here quick introductions and i'll introduce them more later so this is kiki this was our neighbor in san Shuno, and this is our girl no we do not mess with her sister still but first get into my baby's outfit we'll let her come down the stairs um and then y'all saw cam he's also a team girl period um let's see i'm gonna let them walk in first so this is vincent this is june's bestie he lives somewhere, honey. He don't live here. And uh, we're just going to let cute people walk in. Y'all, this is Benny. And this is June's nephew. Look at Benny. This is Anastasia's baby. I don't know who the daddy is. I don't know. We have Kaylee. She looks very cute. This is Braylon's really good friend, one of her besties. They work together. She's also a fashion designer. And Kaylee's looking a little mad, y'all, because... If you know, her and Penny were in a relationship and Penny cheated on her. We will be showing y'all Penny very soon. Penny is like, Penny's like a semi-main character, okay? And they broke up. So, Penny just actually dumped her, you guys. So, she's a little mad from seeing Penny. A little upset. Let's see some more people coming in. Okay, and then we have Pen we have Kaylee's sister, Ashley. We love Ashley. Ashley is so chill, so cool. And honestly, she was kind of MIA last season after having her baby, but, you know, we'll let that go. And then this is Nigel. This is another friend of Braylon. And this is Penny's. I keep saying Penny, and we ain't seen Penny. <laughs> but this is Penny's ex-boyfriend slash baby daddy and slash sneaky link. But, y'all, this is Ezra. And y'all are probably like, why'd you invite him? <laughs> this is Ezra. This is Braylon's ex-boyfriend slash baby daddy. And I invited him because it's a family affair, okay? And they made up. They made a resolve last season, kind of. And I feel like he deserves to be here. And then we also have, what's your name, little boy? We also have Aaron. This is her son. She had him with Raj. So yeah, a few more people are coming in. We're just going to kind of greet some of the guests. We're going to give a hug to Kaylee. Let's see. Friendly affection. Oh, let's have her invite to fill the baby. And they're just gonna, we're not just gonna be outside because it's also a, a housewarming, so they're gonna be inside too. So cute. Oh, I see some more guests. Hold on. This is Daniel. This is Ezra's brother, his older brother, or his younger. I don't remember. This is his brother slash roommate. And y'all, he's cool. Like, he cool vibes. Here we have Anastasia, y'all. This is June's cousin, and she's a bad bitch. I love me some Anastasia. She's also available for download on my Patreon way, 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 way back. And, yeah, I want to know who your baby daddy is. Actually, not me being messy. Before we even get into anybody else, who is the, the, the father of your children? Control. Is it going to say? Paolo? These kids was black when I had made them, though. Paolo is their daddy. She also has another son named Brandon. Let me show y'all Brandon. So cute. So cute. But, yeah. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to get into that tea. Like, who the baby daddy? It's Paolo. Okay. 
I'm going to keep controlling her. She could do party tricks. <laughs> okay, and then I don't know if this is last. I think so. These are the last two people here. We have Penny Possessed, everyone. Give it up for my girl, Penny. She looks very cute, team boy. Team boy. And I don't know what's going on with her. We are going to control Penny because, you know, a lot be going on with Penny. And this is her baby, Dana. And we did live with Penny and Dana for a while. So Dana and Zari are pretty close. And so, yeah, we're going to, um, let's see. He's still barbecuing. I'm going to have the music get turned on, turn on some R&B. Can I turn on some R&B? Yup. And then we got the drinks flowing. I'm going to come fill this up. We're going to make some strawberry punch. And then, you know, we're trying to let everybody congregate. Cancel. Look at how cute she looks. She looks so cute. Okay, let's see. Lock camera. Can we, like, call her over? Yeah, let's call over, Dana. That's our girl. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We forgot one person, y'all. This is kind of chaotic, but, you know, first episode first episode things. This is Julian Casillas. So, if y'all remember first, ep like, second episode of Raylan's Way, he was at that Halloween party, and him and June was cool. So, I made sure that, like, you know, June had more than one friend. So, this is June's other friend, Julian. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna have her come get up a hug to Nigel. Y'all heard Nigel, they kinda um you know. Yeah. You know. They kinda they they doing their thing. Okay, folks is out here having a good time. I'm gonna um have Braylon call some folks to drink. Maybe not Braylon because she can't drink. Let's have Penny do it. Let's see. Grab a drink with Ezra. And let's do Nigel, Kiki, Daniel, and Julian. Okay. Good vibes. Oh, Braylon's going to talk to, um, what you call it? She already knows him. Girl, come open this bow before I get mad. I'm also going to stop the her being from being sad. And I want people to kind of take their guess. I'm going to have her take a guess. He guessed. He said, boy, team boy. Yay, Vincent. Aw, oh, this is so nice. Braylon, get your ass out here. Okay, team boy. Oh, shaven. Team girl. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. I am actually very, very happy right now. I don't even understand. June. You don't like R&B? Uh-oh. Uh Chabba Ezra. Uh-oh. June don't like R&B. June, well, what the, do you want me to do about that? We black. I don't know what you want me to do about that. Is Penny coming to do the drinks? No. Maybe let's move this. Let's move this, like, right here. Yeah. Girl, come get these drinks. <clears throat> yeah. All right. I don't... Okay, we could change it. We could change the tone. We could change the tone because I don't want him to be having a bad time. Let's see. Change station. But to what, bud? Hip-hop? Maybe soul. You think he likes soul? I think I think June likes soul music. Okay, so we have all the kitties here. Oh, this is so I am so full and happy with joy. This is so nice. I'm sorry I keep pausing, but like get into this. This is nice. Okay. Is the food ready? The food is ready. Um we can go ahead and call Tamil, see who will eat. Hopefully, the baby right. get some food. And then I'm gonna have her come meet Benny. Talk to stranger. 
Now, for the sake of copyright, we are going to have to change this volume to low. Okay, everybody's having a good time. Okay, team boy. I thought he was team girl, but he's team boy. Everybody having a good time. What does she, did she meet the, the little boy? Okay, she did meet Benny. That's good. She already knows the other kids. Okay, Vincent's kind of off to himself. I love this. Dana, what are you doing, girl? Maybe she was talking to the pub. Let's call her over. Come on, girl. What's Penny doing? She's talking to Kiki. She is talking to Kiki. I have to have the kids come. Like, that's just so important to me. And then what's wrong with him? Kaylee is team me? girl. Let's see. Can y'all get some of this? Let me have Braylon get her one of these because she can't have nothing else. For real. Okay. A lot of team girls in the building. Okay. A lot of team girls in the building. I'm about to have June come kick it with his homies. Say hi. Y'all act like he knows this man. Okay. Let's do a bro hug. They met a long time ago. I'm sure their relationship just kind of fell or fizzled. Okay. Let's see. Somebody needs to come greet the baby. Penny, come greet the baby. Don't piss me off. Um, Friendly. Affection. Acts to feel baby. Y'all, they are having a good time. Oh, we love this. Oh my god, y'all. We're having a baby. A summer baby. Okay, they got a sense to make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Let's see. She's hungry. Come get some food. Grab a servant. How's our daughter doing? Her hygiene's kind of low. She needs a bath. <gasps> no, she's dancing. <gasps> no, let me see. Oh, yeah, no, she stopped. Girl, how you gonna stop when I wanted you to start dancing? She wants to talk to her dad, which I'm gonna let her. When people try, girl. Okay, look. I don't know why he got on dad jackets. I don't know. Aww, so cute. Okay. So y'all gonna let her finish her drink, and then we're gonna go ahead and have our little chicken meal. So, so cute. Yeah, this is a really good event. Was he, was he in the pool? Y'all are in the pool, so we're trying to get in our pool. Look at Anastasia. She said, yeah. What y'all thought this was? <laughs> okay, let's, um, I'm scared. I'm actually very frightened. Also, make this party, Cody. Okay. It says, prepare to embark on the exciting journey of unveiling the much-anticipated gender of your bundle of joy by exploring our extensive selection of gender reveal party supplies. Whether you choose the whimsical charm of a balloon or the delectable delight of a cake, our curated collection promises to add an extra layer of magic and joy to your celebration. We're doing the Wonder Pop balloon. Girl, forget your bladder. What? Who cares? I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, okay. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Gather. She's saying, come over here to this balloon right now. Okay, people is coming. People is coming. People is coming. 
Even Ellie came. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. They kind of close. Back the uh, back up, back up, back up. Y'all kind of close. Y'all kind of close. Um, pop balloon with you. <laughs> Dang, back up. This not y'all event. Back up a little bit. <laughs> She's like, are you ready, babe? <laughs> Paul, let me change her outfit. Get out your swimsuits, y'all. It's not gonna ruin. Our boss is calling. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, Braylon. I want to let you know we're very impressed with your job performance. You're doing a great job. Remember, if you don't remember, if you don't miss work, go to the office on time. Keep your good mood and gain all your required skills. You'll be set for your promotion. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> y'all, what? Are, I literally have chills. What are we having? Uh, what are we having? For real. They are 2C4C for me though. Back it up. Okay. Okay. Let me get the right angle. Pop it. <gasps> it's a boy. No, I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all, it's a boy. Okay, y'all, it's in the way of the, of the couple. Yes! Okay, there we go. <laughs> this picture it's her with the girl glasses on but she's still happy she's still happy stirs with pompa tim tim and gaby girl take them glasses off <laughs> take them glasses off girl okay just for my pictures like oh look oh my god <laughs> So they're having a boy. Uh, period. Period. Okay, let's read the buffs. Ah! We were right. Okay. It says it's a boy from gender reveal. Braylon couldn't help but smirk thinking about the chaos that that awaited them. Mustangs, wrestling matches, and probably a horse. A house filled with more noise than ever before. She smiled as she imagined herself trying to keep up with the antics of her little man. <gasps> Ooh, I'm going to cry. Uh, for real. This is so big deal. You can't take a guess now. It's too late. Um. Okay. It's a boy. As the blue confetti dances through the air, excitement pulses through June's veins, amplifying the joy of the moment. The realization of having a son prompts reflections on the unique role he will play in shaping the boy's character. June envisions himself as a mentor, a guide through life's challenges, and a source of unwavering support. O M G, y'all. We're having a boy. Everybody is here. Our family, our friends. <sighs> Love this. Let's see. Do they get any buffs for being there? Um, no, they actually don't. Which is pretty interesting. Aww. Sorry, I don't give a damn about you having to be. What's your saying? Yeah, baby. It's happening. Okay, y'all, I'm going to end this episode here because this was a long episode. A lot happened, and we're having a boy. Drop the boy names down below, okay? Drop them down below. Drop them down below. But uh, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of our new Let's Play Becoming Mrs. Worthington. And our legacy continues, y'all. I just can't wait to see this family grow and prosper and yeah if you like today's episode and you're not subscribed come on out click that subscribe button click your post notifications so you can know whenever i post hit the thumbs up also follow me on twitch i go live on twitch sundays mondays and wednesdays follow me on twitter to get just i'm just, i'm always on twitter y'all get like pictures early you know little exclusives little sneak peeks and just come hang out and follow me on tiktok and join the discord 
I love you guys. See y'all later. Bye.